In this video I will cover how to do a balance sheet. A balance sheet is sometimes included in the management accounts, management reports and it gives a snapshot the financial position of the company and includes things like assets, liabilities and once again the profit or loss for the period. The balance sheet is probably the hardest part of management accounts and sometimes the hardest to understand and get your head around too. Now the majority of business owners and directors are not actually that interested in the balance sheet. They're more interested in sales figures, in profit figures. So if you don't understand the balance sheet or if you don't want to un understand the balance sheet then just go to the end of this video and click on the link to go to the next video. But if you are interested then I'll go through the balance sheet right now for you. So once again I've just merged the cells at the top K to Q and I'll do the same underneath merge and center and we're going to go bold and underline again and do balance sheet and the company name I'll do BPFS again now the layout of these statements is not that great you know if you look at this P&L statement we have all this blank space and it's not laid out well I'm not that interested in making these documents fancy you know I, I have better layouts on previous documents but the videos I'm doing the examples I'm giving you is more so the principle behind making these documents rather than how to present them so let's do May again because we're still in June and our balance sheet is relatively small we have assets and liabilities and let's make that bold and underline it and all we do is create a list of assets and liabilities generally our assets first so things like cash petty cash we may then have our current bank balance that's our current account or business bank balance would be better we could then have some sort of secondary or savings account and we would have other assets too perhaps an aged debtors balance money owed to us from our debtors so let's just do age debtors and then perhaps we have some stock or inventory and some equipment once again you'd make this look a lot more fancy than it does this is purely just an example once we have listed our assets we also have a list of our, of our liabilities so we may have creditors money we owe to suppliers perhaps a loan a business loan and generally that would be it they're, they're the two main ones once again let's put a currency symbol in the pound center that and then we would list the balances the cash of value of these assets and the money owed the cash money owed for our liabilities at the end of the period so I've it says the first of May but let's just make that May let's format these cells Okay, that's better. So 
So it would be the balances at the end of the period. So say we have £100 petty cash. Our bank balance was 15803 54 Our savings account was £300. We were owed... Six nine seven eighty seven. We have two thousand pounds worth of infantry. Five hundred pounds worth of equipment. And then say we owe two thousand pounds to suppliers and a two thousand pound loan. We would then simply add the balances of our assets minus our liabilities. So let's right click on this cell, click format cells, go to border, let's make a nice border, something like that. And let's do equals, open bracket. Oh no, let's do equals, yeah, open bracket all of these plus this one plus this one there's probably a quicker way to do this so I'm just adding all of these cells together close bracket minus creditors minus loan enter so that gives us our balance of our assets minus our liabilities. The second part of the balance sheet is our cash brought forward. So our cash at the beginning of the period. These are our balances at the end of the period. Our cash will be the 1st of May if this is for a month. And our profit or loss for the period. Now adding these together will give us another balance which should match the balance of our assets and liabilities. I apologize if you're totally confused. Like I said, it's not that vital that you know this stuff. Um, if you're just compiling management accounts once a month, your owner or director probably won't have a clue himself what a balance sheet is. So it's only worth learning this if you really want to know it or it's being required of you by your boss so our profit was 82011 and let's say our cash brought forward was 28130 add these together so it equals plus this one enter make that bold and you'll see that our balances are are equal. And that's why it's called a balance sheet, as our assets and liabilities should balance with our cash brought forward against the profit or loss for the period. And that's our balance sheet. Generally, the higher the balance, the more healthy the, the company or business is. If this balance is a negative figure, which it generally is for new businesses or failing businesses, or businesses that have some concern then it can be seen as a negative thing for a business so you want a nice healthy number for a small business making 800 pounds a month this is relatively a healthy number a nice positive 1101 balance sheet for the month we can clearly see that our assets outweigh our liabilities not in the sense that there's more of them, but the value of our assets, the things that we own or are owed outweighs what we owe. And we're making a profit for the month and our cash brought forward was also a positive number. We're not in our overdraft and things look healthy. Click on the link to go to the next video. Thank you for watching.